friends. So today I have a giant unboxing for you guys. Guarantee, sorry, I realized my hair is trash at the moment. Guarantee you guys can't guess what's in here. Oh my God, what could it possibly be? Who knows? Let us find out together and could possibly be in this large and in charge large and in charge this list tells me but we don't trust her we love to hear it I'm sure you guys can see the little support Okay, so what I have in here is <laughs> Sorry, my hair looks really bad. I just bleached it recently, so it's not like that good yet. Okay, so I have the Cab Cabanera, Cabanara, however you want to pronounce it, uh Flaming Hot Sauce. I actually already have one of these. Um I've only gone through maybe like this much of it but this was like half the price as the one that I bought so I figured I'd buy another one I also have the regular spicy um I'm on my second one of these and again this is like half the price and of course I had to get the big boy you guys know what's coming if I can get it off my nails I have the two times spicy sauce. So yes, I have all three sauces. I honestly already have them all, they're all open. These are just backup ones for when I run out. I thought I would buy one of each. So let's get into like the goods. So I have purchased Four of the stew type Samyang fire noodles, which I personally really like, but I also have noticed that a lot of people on YouTube, so these ones are supposed to be soupy. Like, you know when you make like Mr. Noodles supposed to be soupy? These are these ones, they're stew type, but I have seen a lot of people still drain them like the other ones. These ones you're not supposed to do. So I really like these, especially on a cold day. So I got, four of these because I do really like them. I got three of the um, tomato pasta flavor, which I have never tried. Um, I think this one might include meat. It says that the powder contains, oh no, sorry. Oh, it does include oyster sauce. So I am vegetarian, but I'm not like that picky. I just wanna make sure that, I know there's like meat bits in this one, um, but I think the meat is like, uh, TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. It's what you get in um, Chef Boyardee and stuff like that in cans. So it does say contains wheat, gluten, soy, milk, oyster. So I'll probably let it slide. I'm not like the world's pickiest vegetarian. So I do have three of these ones. I've never had this one before. So I'm excited to try it. I have three of the corn. Now, I've bought a five pack of the corn before about a year ago and I didn't like it at all. I, this is when I used to eat like two packs at a time regularly and I did not like it. It has a very similar texture to the carbonara one where it's like you add the sauce and also a powder mix, but the noodles are different and I just didn't like the flavor to be honest, but I thought, you know, it's been a year 
I think that like your palette can change year to year. Like I'm not against trying some, sorry. I'm not against trying something again. So I did buy three of these to try again, you know. So corn. I bought four of, whoop. I can't grab it with one hand. Oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna do two and two, okay. Four of the cheese ones. I have tried these before. They are, again, similar to the carbonara one where you add the cheese, uh, powder mixture, and also uh, sauce. So these are pretty good. They're not my favorites, but it's basically the same as carbonara, just different. So I bought four of those because I thought, why not? I actually have like six or seven of the carbonara ones like in my cupboard right now, but I just kind of got sick of carbonara. Honestly, like when I first got into these noodles, like that was the flavor that I went to and I ate like four packs in one day. Like I really liked it. I would always eat two at a time and extra sauce and just, I don't know. So I'm going to put it back in the box so that I'm not <laughs> throwing everything on my floor. I don't know. It just was like, I kind of got sick of it, but I still like to buy it because I do time to time like it. You know I had to get me some two times spicy, so I got five of those because um, the store that I bought these from, it's located um, in Mississauga and it's cheaper for me to buy these five single packs than it is for me to buy a five pack of Amazon. So I got five packs because you guys know I love my dice double spicy, but also I noticed this package I think is the newer double spicy. So I think this is actually more like 10,000 shoe rather than 8,000 some hundred shoe. So we'll see. You guys know I love me some double spicy. So obviously these will be in some future videos. I also got four of the light ones which I have never tried these yet. So I bought four, even though like the tomato ones I'd never tried, but I bought three. These ones I think will be good. So these are the light ones. Um, and it's supposed to be half the calories, sorry, 20% less calories and 40% less spice than I believe the original black ones. So I'm excited to try these because I do love the original. Like those are my favorite ones, but they are really high calories like there's there's no denying it the calorie content is really high and the spice you know for a lot of people is too much so these ones are 380 calories per package whereas the normal black ones which of course i got are 530 calories per package so it's yeah it's obviously not half it's 25 percent uh 28 sorry 28 percent um 380 versus 530 but obviously i've never tried these yet so we'll see i did see one video I, i'm sorry i feel like i mentioned nikocado avocado in like every one of my videos i honestly just like he's entertaining he did these ones recently and he claimed that the spice is worse than the original ones so we will have to see about that. But of course, the last thing I got was five of the originals because again, it was cheaper for me to get five of these on this website than it was for me to get them on Amazon. So these are my personal favorite. I could probably eat these every day, honestly. Between this and the two times spicy, like two times spicy used to be my favorite when I used to eat these way more often. But um, I just want to use spice as much and I also don't have as big as an appetite so yeah so this whole lot which would have been five five four four so 28 9 10 11 12 13 14 wait <laughs> 10 14 18 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 29 packs of ramen plus three sauces plus shipping cost me 100 Canadian dollars, which is not great, but 
hopefully I can make some videos out of this. Um, so if any of you are interested, I got it from, I'm so sorry, randomly of the hiccups. I don't know why. <laughs> Brother. I got it from a store called Sakushi. Why? In the middle of my video. I got it from a store called Sakushi. Uh, it is located in Square One in Mississauga, if you guys are from Ontario. So I ordered it online. I ordered yeah, about $100 worth um, offhand. I don't actually remember if I paid for shipping or if it was free shipping, but obviously I got like a decent amount. And I don't eat this stuff every day. And you guys know at this point that I can't even eat two bags at once. So this is going to last me a while. Um, so yeah. I guess we'll see which one I do next. But I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what I had ordered. And have them stock for you guys. So I also, um, I don't only have this. I also have two of the curries in my pantry. I have about six of the um carbonara ones and i have an entire pack of the black bean i'm not even gonna try to pronounce it like java young or something yeah, i have like a whole pack of those um so whatever you guys want to see if you want to see me do a challenge if you want me to just eat it please let me know because i have a lot <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching um So next time, I have a lot of noodles for you guys. So I hope you guys are looking forward to whatever the future has to come. Okay, I'm awkward. Goodbye.